the course of human and women's rights were betrayed when it was made clear Ibrahim Raisi would take over the presidency in the country. If the past is any indication, the international community must act to hold Raisi to account before it is too late and he repeats the mass execution campaign against activists and dissidents that he once oversaw over three decades ago. Mm -hmm. The possibility of another massacre in Iran's prisons should not be dismissed easily, given Reza's role as the judiciary chief in the killing and torture of protesters during the November 2019 protests. I am encouraged that the pro-democracy opposition movement, the NCRI, will bring attention to this urgent matter at its global Free Iran Summit next month on the 10th of July. I will join that summit and the Iranian people to call on the international community to act and act urgently to deliver on the growing popular demand in Iran to investigate and prosecute Raisi for his known involvement in crimes against humanity. On the 10th of July, I will join Iran's pro-democracy opposition movement, the NCRI, and the people of Iran for the Global Free Iran Summit to support the cause of human rights in Iran and to call for the international, for international actions to end impunity for perpetrators of serious human rights abuses in Iran, including accountability for the incoming president, Ibrahim Raisi. The UK has a moral obligation to act against crimes against humanity. And the UK government should fulfill this by asking the UN to launch an inquiry into the 1988 massacre and raise its role in this atrocity, which is labeled by amnesty as a crime against mm. humanity.